Hey everybody, so we're back again with this Dell Inspiron desktop model 3668 and the customer has agreed to go ahead and move forward with upgrading to a solid state drive. We're not going to be reinstalling Windows, we're going to actually migrate the existing install over to an SSD. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to drop in a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. Actually, first I'm going to pull this out. I've already backed up the user profile to the uh, Plexi. However, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and grab a new 240 gig SSD, 2.5 inch SSD, and clone the data from here to the SSD and then wipe this to set this up as a data partition and then move his user profile back over to the um, hard drive. So the crazy thing about these desktops from Dell, now I can't speak for all of them but this one here in particular you can see how um, we have space for two SSDs. We have two bays here. But you can see there's no caddies in there to install the SSDs into. There's also no additional SATA cable and more importantly there's no additional power cable because the way this works is this power supply sends 12 volts to the motherboard and it has DC DC conversion on board to send power out to the drives. So I had to go on Amazon and order a cable for this dang thing. Luckily it was $10 but that's kind of high for just a cable but that's what you get with these newer computers. They're designed to where you get the bare minimum. It used to be when you buy an OEM system, generally you could easily drop in additional drives or add-on cards without any major issue. Um, now of course the exception would be graphics cards. We probably could put a basic graphics card in this one. It does have a, a slot there for one, but if you want one that has uh, dedicated power, forget it. Um, so what we're going to do is, as mentioned, I've already ordered the cable for power. I have a set of cables. That's not, a, not an issue there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to 3D print a caddy to install the SSD into. I looked on the internet and I downloaded an STL model for the uh, Dell 2.5 inch drive caddy. So what I have to do is I'll have to 3D print that and that just finished up with a uh, tray for the uh, kitchen to put spices in. But um, So yeah, so true, that's what you get with these newer things. Um, used to be, as I mentioned, when you get a computer from Dell or HP or wherever, um, you would generally be able to install drives like add a second hard drive or whatever without having to go up and buy additional stuff now yeah generally you would sometimes have to buy a SATA cable but I mean a SATA cable pretty common matter of fact back in the day retail hard drives this might still apply if you go to Best Buy and buy a hard drive in the box it might come with a SATA cable so depends but these things here uh, just to add a hard drive to it or and an SSD over here. We're, we have to go out and purchase a cable to plug into the motherboard where that black connection is right there, that black um, header is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's so freaking ridiculous the way these things are designed now. But yes, um, once we get this done, that's going to be a huge, huge, huge difference in performance for this thing. Now, of course, Due to it being a customer's machine, I can't really show much about it. Um, but I do know for a fact that once we get that solid state drive in there and we get everything cloned over, this thing is going to be much faster. So yes, uh, I figure I would update you all that the customer has opted to go ahead and move forward with the solid state drive installation. So I'll continue this video once I have the SSD mounted into the uh, caddy and have the cables and stuff. More or less want to have this thing completed. Okay, so our little adapter piece has finished. This little caddy that slides into the uh, two and a half inch bay on that uh, desktop. This fits a variety of these newer Dell systems. 
So this completed in less than an hour on this thing. So I'll take it over here and of course I've already removed all the support material off of it so it looks nice and clean now. And for example, as you can see, fits right in there just like it should. So these by the way uh, cost about 10 to 15 dollars on Amazon. So it's not a bad idea for a computer tech to have a 3D printer. I mean this use only a very marginal amount of filament which a uh, one kilogram spool is like 20 to 30 dollars. So there you have it. So we're, right now we're actually copying files over from the hard drive to this SSD and once that gets done I'll melt the SSD in this little caddy and then it's just a matter of waiting for Amazon to deliver the um, power cable and once I have that I can finish this thing up and the customer can pick it up okay so our cable arrived and I've got it in there I got the SSD mounted and everything so what I did is I cloned everything off this drive to this drive since there was just enough space on this 240 gig SSD to hold the information and I've gone back and I've deleted all the partitions off of this and created a data partition and what I'll do is I'll start this up and I'll go through the process of migrating the user profile like the download documents music pictures videos and desktop folders over to the data drive and I'll put a card in the upper right corner showing you the process of how that is done. So I'll do that and it'll be ready for the customer. Okay everybody, so I forgot to actually shoot a uh, video clip to end this video. In other words, uh, I had already called the customer let them know the computer's ready and then picked it up and the computer's already gone. So. Just to wrap this up, uh, the computer is running much better now with the solid state drive. Huge, huge improvement in performance. I uh, was able to get this thing up to speed without having to wipe and reinstall windows on the thing. So that's always a good thing. Um, always good to not disrupt um, an existing windows install when you can help it. Now, of course, if it's really, really, really messy, then yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. And I did offer this to the customer, say, hey, um, if if you still think it's too slow we could definitely do a Windows reinstall and he's happy with it did get a call back though and it was because of his monitor um, going off and on off and on off and on and I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I had discussed this with him I said hey this issue with your monitor going black and come back on is not the computer because it didn't do it here at all ran it for hours didn't once have that issue so he bought a new monitor and of course the issue went away. He thinks it's probably the cable on the monitor and I thought so too. I mentioned it could be either the monitor or the cable but he purchased a new monitor and this new monitor came with an HDMI cable instead of VGA which is okay because the uh, system did have a uh, HDMI port on the back and I told him say hey just FYI if it was a cable and your old monitor works fine your computer can do dual monitors. So. That's, that'd be a win for him. So, anyways, yes, it's done. It's out of here. If I didn't mention, I did check the card reader on it, and it was working okay. Uh, I think it was just dirty, because the first time I plugged the memory card into it, it didn't detect it, but then I removed it, put it back in, and it detected it. It's fine. I tried it several more times, and every time afterwards, it would detect the card when you plug it in. So, thankfully, the SD reader is fine. And I think that was about it. There weren't any other issues I can think of that he had mentioned of, but yeah, I think it was just the performance, it was the SD reader, and he had mentioned about the video going blank and come back up and going blank and come back up. And that was obviously the monitor or the cable, not the computer, but it's done, it's out of here. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video from QCareer channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, 
and share this video as well as a channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel that's QComp MTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.